Stay tuned. You're going to love it. It's a beautiful 17 and a half inch walleye there. It's going in the frying pan for sure. Well, this adventure is about to begin and hopefully we can get some first light today. That's the goal. First light, maybe till noon. Got the cable guy coming around noon, which means he'll be here at about 4.30 this afternoon. So I got to get a quick fish in with Craig and his son, Dylan. And uh, we're just going to try to get into something out here real close to home. So we don't have to go all the way to Lake Darling, 90 miles away today. The travel will be approximately 10 miles. That could tell you where we're going. So stay tuned, you're gonna love it. Hey. Morning, Randy. How's it going? All right, three minutes late. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 32 feet, huh? Yeah, 32, yeah. But we're marking stuff on bottom. So I should set up in the middle of the place? That's what I said. I'm just going to go. I caught up between it. Almost like it's a saddle. This is the main, the main channel. I'm going to start setting up. <laughs> yeah. Try to get this first light going. I see there might be one right here, right now, actually. Right on the bottom. Yeah, we're marking clouds coming up. I guess like that, more and more grass is not where earlier. I guess they might have to just jig for me. Oh, no, you got to it. It's cool. That's a big mark down there. Here we go. <sighs> Not what I want. You guys want some pike bait? What'd you get? Ooh. Whitefish? Yeah. You want it? Yeah. Stick it on the ice?
walleye number one for the day on Craig Cranber's six pack custom tackle walleye series rod that you can name if you want one of these. If you name the model series, this model, he'll give you one of these rods. Maybe a fish too, but you'll have to ask Craig. It's a beautiful 17 and a half inch walleye there. Frying pan for sure. I like to use these uh, live wells so I don't have to thaw out my fish at the end of the day. Got one. I lost a nice walleye. Oh man. Oh, just missed it. it. It was aggressive coming after it, so. Oh, shoot. There we go. That's a nice one, boys. That's a nice one. Eh, maybe not. 12 inches, maybe 13. But it choked it. That is the definition of choking, in case you didn't know. And 35 feet, so that's going to be going in the frying pan, but it's going to be a delicious meal nonetheless. Nice little angry little walleyes. We got a bite on the rattle reel. Rattle reel's going off. Not sure if it's going with it or not here. Let's see if I can get a rattle reel fish. Yeah. Got a rattle reel fish. It's going to be a nice one, actually. If it stays on. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a, that's a beautiful rattle reel fish. He choked it, though. That's a good 19 incher right there, probably. Definitely a keeper. 35 feet, that's a keeper, but yeah, 19. That's what I would guess on that one. Going in the live well. I don't even really have time to put the rattle reel down again. Three fish in about 30 minutes, comes another one. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out today. Just can't get any better weather than this in the, in the month of January. Feels like first ice here too. Looking for fish number four, but I, I feel like I need to start being a little more selective. This looks like a nice mark here. See if I can get him to come up. There's a nice bunch of fish down here right now. I was going to sit in the hub, but it's just going to be a perfect day out. Uh, the only thing I'd want to sit in the hub for is to keep the sun off my face. Keep from getting sunburned, but as it is right now, our first light is doing pretty good. <laughs> keeping the sun off, keeping me shaded here, so it works. Ooh, that one was quick. That one wants it. 
Oh, it wanted it. It wanted it. Does it still want it? Is it going to come back? I stung it, maybe. Got a taste. You got a taste. It's coming high. Coming in hot. Oh. <laughs> Missed it again. Not feeling any uh, minnow on there. I think I lost my minnow on that one. Yep. Took the minnow right off. So I guess I need to reload. Still don't feel like I have time to set up that rattle reel again, but I'd like to have another line down there. That one looks a little bit small unless it's a a side angle there. Hello? Hi, good morning. I'm calling from Disney Network for the appointment. Yeah. Is it okay? Technician thing is way ahead of schedule. Is it okay if they come early today? Uh, I guess I plan for noon. I don't, honestly, I'm out at, I'm out at the lake right now fishing until noon. <laughs> I was expecting them to come at noon ish or between noon and five. Yeah, we can we can still do that, absolutely, because you were scheduled twelve and five. I just thought I'd check because one of his mornings didn't go through. Oh. Um, but yeah, that's fine. We'll come later in the afternoon. Okay, thank you very much. Well, have a good time fishing. Sorry yeah. I interrupted. No, no problem. Thanks. Have a good morning. Thank you too. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Cable guy. Cable guy. <sighs> Almost immediately. Came off. That was a good one. Swimming away. Let me see if I can catch him again. See if he's that hungry. I don't think so. <laughs> Swimming away. Got that one though. And he came off, swimming away. <laughs> Who wants it? Do you still want it? You still want it? Come on, you still want it. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> he did want it. I didn't get him, though. Drop him back down. See what happens. I just saw him swim back down though. He came up to about 10 feet. <sighs> Can't believe I'm missing these things. Pulling them up 20 feet almost. I got a rebate. Oh man, I think I might already got a fish here. Already a looker, anyway. Came up. And I missed him. Missed him already. It's a feeding frenzy, boys. Feeding frenzy! Sun's coming up and it's feeling a little chillier than it was earlier. It's 18 degrees. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. I've been out here for about an hour. 
and I set up. I got here at 7, 7.05, got set up by 8. These things are just hitting me. They're just hitting me. I need to catch a fish so I can get some warmth back in the bones. On my rattle reel, I just had the small P by clam, single hook, and a minnow. I just put that rattle reel down. I think I got a bite on it already. I think that fish came up and met it and took it. It did. It did. I'm just going to give it some time. It looked like a keeper fish, size wise. Do I dare tug on it? <laughs> I'm gonna look, I'm gonna check it. See if it's there. I don't think it's there. I think it's, I think it's looking. I think it's looking is what it's doing. That fish is real close. That fish is close. He's interested. He's interested. Is he interested enough to swallow it? Is he interested enough to swallow it? Yes, he is. Should I let him have it? Oh, yes. <laughs> this one's going to be fine and dandy. And it's gone. <laughs> ah, 15. Saw it, it was about 15. Came off though. Whew. Came off right at the hole, turned around, and that was on that. My minnow still looks good. Just gonna send it, that was kind of fun. That was not a big fish, so it was only 15. So, unfortunately, got her all over the hole and then popped off. I thought I had a nice hook set on that thing with the rattle reel here. It does help warm the body, but man, I'm still a little chilly. I'm gonna have to throw on that jacket, throw on the coat. I always tell the boys and girls to recess, put your coat on, it's cold. It's 18 degrees. Oh, so what was that? Four. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to you catch any more over there? I got three in the bag. Oh, no kidding. Hmm. Watch them coming on camera still. Yeah, I'm missing, missing quite a few too. Just missed the 15 at the hole. Uh, yeah, we weren't doing anything aggressive. I put a, a buzz bait on ripping it. They're coming in, they swipe at it a little bit once, kind of. And then they look at it and there's no meat on it. And they would take off. So I'm like, well, I'm going to put something done with a minnow back on it. Yeah. So I've watched way too many of them come in and look and go, and no. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes and no. Yeah, they're they're just everywhere over here. They're constantly cruising. Anyway, they were here when we got here at six thirty. They were already here. Huh. So I bet you they're here all freaking night long. Well, this. yeah, I'm sure they were, but I mean, eating wise, I think they're definitely turned on at about seven thirty. We had them hit right off the bat. Yeah. I was like, okay, this isn't bad. But I haven't had a chance. Like this is the first. I, I just decided I need to get warm. <laughs> right. Instead of throwing the coat on, I was like, I'm just going to go over to Craig's. <laughs> Warm up a little. <laughs> Although, don't worry, I'm like, I think I'm going to this pub. I'm like, oh, he's probably got too many fish going on. Yeah, it's not worth it. And I'm like, I the cable guy called me. I was like, uh, <laughs> I got a fish looking right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, he's like, I could come early. He's like, uh, no, I yeah. want you to come between noon and five, like right? you said. <laughs> exactly. Until That's noon. you're gonna tie me up for five hours today, and I, I'm going fishing right now, so right. definitely. Though, I've heard too lately that people said the stained water has been better water for them this year, hmm. even on Devil's Lake. They said this find the stained water for walleyes because I mean, when I usually when I'm over on Auto Pond, 
I can put my camera in that corner, and I shoot it this way, and I watch both these, and I usually put a tip-up filter, and I can see the schmelt on it. And this one is, it's not missing. Well, I gotta stay here until you catch one. Right? I'm just feeding the fishes. They just took another one. Another minnow. Yeah, this is a, uh... Oh, yeah. So it just pops on, but you got your. Comes with alligator clips that plug mm. into here. Yeah. So you could power whatever with it, but then it's also got your different chargers here too. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's good use of a $200 battery. Right? <laughs> oh, but it's already coming around on me. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I got a flag up. I'm like, oh. Flag up. <laughs> got flag. Test, 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 test. test, test. Make sure it works. Test. <laughs> Testing, one, two. <laughs> Yeah. It looks like a contraption. You can only Oh wow. Yeah. Let it let it take it in. Flag up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you reset to go off. Yep. Oh, oh there he is. Okay, maybe you gotta slide my house that far to the right. Yeah. It, you might actually. Name your fish. 12 inch walleye. Snack. <laughs> You're supposed to call it. Like a frog. Yeah. It does. Don't tell Aaron Weeb. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going we're gonna to barrel trauma him in the five gallon pail and check him out. Let's quick. See they, let's see how they taste. Barrel quick, trauma. quick. <laughs> I threw the one back in the pill that was really bad, and he, was, I had slush and water in there. He's doing just fine. He's swimming in it right now. I'm like, yeah. So it's, it's think if they just get time and they're upright. Yeah. I think they mostly recover. Well, if this child's gonna be today. Hurts. It's gonna be a fun day. I'm about to bring the grill out here and do some cooking on the lake today. I got a per perch there too. Nice. I'd like to be able to just have my shack just sitting here <laughs> and not move. So I either go get the cable guy, come back for the evening bite. Otherwise, put your if you just take it down and leave it there. It ain't gonna go anywhere today. Are you guys staying out here all day? We're gonna go in, eat, and come back out. We'll yeah. be out here all day. Looks like it, huh? They're all over the place. Hey. hey. Didn't realize you were here. Just got it and just pulled in. Pulled in as I was catching that fish. <laughs> that place went off, you You guys showed up and got out on Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've only been back on here like a half hour. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah we just rolled out here. I guess I better start setting up because this is probably it. Prime time. Did you set those up? Are those your tip ups out there? No? Everybody's outside. You don't even need a shelter today. Howdy, neighbor. Hey, man. Hey.
Got some heft. There you go. It's definitely a nice one. <laughs> Dropping the El Bente. Not sure if I want to put a plain hook on. That's all we always been using the twitch. I took everything off down, put everything plain hook. Yeah. So I've got them coming in looking at it, they won't touch it. Right? That's no fun though. <laughs> I'm like, I can't jig it, I can't nothing. I'm like, I still have my jigging spoon on my main one while I'm sitting here, but then I'm so busy looking out at these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a community spot all of a sudden, so yeah. we don't have to worry about getting rescued. Big one. It sure, it sure looked good. <laughs> it did. How are you, buddy? Good. Uh, is this the one that he makes? Yeah. There it is. It was on the bottom. Not very big, but it was on the bottom. That was fun. Just a widow one. Just a little walleye. Now there's a lot of fish down here. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a fish. Yeah. See, I, I don't have something. Oh yeah. Yet, so I watch your videos all the time, and I try to understand that part. Yeah, man. That's a that's an so okay fish. fish. Are these fish too then or no? Nah, those are those might be some sort of interference over there. Any movement like that, that's a fish. Oh, and here I am talking to you when you should be. Oh, you no, that's a whole down. bunch of. You got one down there then. Not yet. Or no, I meant you. At least you have a pole. Oh yeah, I'm I got I got a rattle reel. Yeah. I'm not interfering. Nope. I got a rattle reel there on that side, and then that. Not sure where this one is at right now, actually. Is that this one? Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. But so why is it over here? I'm going to be talking about it. Yeah, why I, is it on the right side of the screen? Shouldn't it be on the left? Yeah, I could just go like. I could just turn this, actually. If I go like that. Okay. Now it's oh, yeah. over on the left. It's just the way the transducer's okay. facing. So there, are, there's fish looking at that one right now. It's about to come and take a nibble off of it. Let's see if he takes it. <laughs> He's just circling though. Is it this this one right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's. Yeah. I understand this. And uh, so yeah, I was watching your video last night for Lake Darling. Sure. So I watched that. Yeah, that was on Sunday when I went out there. There's a bigger one. So that's 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 me that's dropping. That dot, right? Yeah, that's me dropping. That one. Yeah, I was watching, and it blew, you blew my mind. Eleven feet of water, and you were and you caught a whole life. Yeah, I mean, there's that's all there is out there, though. So you know, this is a bigger mark here. See, it's kind of it's coming up now underneath me. Oh yeah, and there's one above you too. That one above me, I haven't. Can't, it might be just the rattle reel. Oh. Maybe that's not far enough down yet. But. So it it's you lost interest. Are you recording? It's yeah. As long as you don't care. Well, I don't. <laughs> I, I it's don't constantly want, I don't recording. Want to hear your your videos. I like. No, them. it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's no interfering with it. It's. I record it for the, the memory of it. Oh man, that thing. Did you see that one shoot up a little bit? Yep. Oh, 
and he took a bite. Took a swipe at it too. But it's, that was a small one though. I think I lost my minnow on that one. Everyone that's playing that one over on your left, that one, he's just sitting there watching that one. Yeah, I'm hoping he just takes it. Not sure what's going on over there. You got plain hooks on it? Yeah, see I got it I have a robbed. Of those. I bought those too. <laughs> but no, I have a Wonder Bread one. And uh, I'm smacking them. There's so many fish around here. So I was out here at like 7.30, 7 o'clock is when I rolled in. It took me about a half hour to set everything up. But as soon as I got everything set up and I was going, I got three fish right away. Three walleye and... Oh, nice. So all I can do is do two fish today, <laughs> tonight, but in 11 feet, so at Lake Darling, I could totally see it on the bottom in 11 feet, but if you're in 34 feet like we are here, can't really see it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go and buy him like a Helix 5. Yeah. I set up one so I can have mine back. Hey Ricky. Hi. Not really seeing much right now. I mean, good, we're talking. Uh-uh, not in 30 feet of water. If it was like 10 or 15 feet, maybe. Oh, there. Cause I, like, didn't one of your videos say you had a camera down and you could hear the noise above? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I try to be as quiet as I can over there. Yeah. Come on in. Not a lot of room on that side. I don't have as much room as you guys do. Oh, you like that one? <laughs> I got that from Mike. That used to be Mike's. Oh, really? There's one right underneath me right now. You see it? See that? Oh, yeah. it's coming up. That's a live scope. <laughs> Mega live. Mega live. Oh, I just missed it. Now, yeah. And now he's coming down. <laughs> he came off. It wasn't a very big one, though. Remember how we're using the small jig hooks, Ricky? Yeah. Look at this. It, it don't matter what size you use. Uh, today it might. <laughs> the plain hooks is what Craig's catching them on. Yeah, that's what he was just telling us, just to do that. But Ricky's been catching... With the jig head, oh. you know. Here you go, here's another one. Oh, that looks kind of Watch that rod there. Just go to this the... is, I really like how you got this set up. I really like it, like when you start your video, you'll drill a hole. Yeah. You put that in, and then you would go, oh, well, it's 50 feet over there. Well, you're not setting up and fishing in this spot for five hours. You go over to that spot, you know, you go right. look and find them. That is one thing that I would like about. I think that's what is the beneficial thing about live scope and make it live. Yeah, it, it definitely helps a little bit. It's still, there's still been plenty of days where I didn't really catch anything, so. Ooh, there you go, that's all you, Ricky. That's all you. No, 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 no. That's fine, you can just pull on the, pull on the, it's like, there you go. Just pull it up like that. There you go. Does it feel like you got one on there? Yeah. Nice. Do it. <laughs> it looks like it just fell off. It might have. Did it? It's loose. Yeah. As he, he's ne I've never had one of these, <laughs> so he doesn't know really what to do with I've this never, one. I've never really known what to do with them either. <laughs> so here it is. I'm going to put it down a little bit. There's a fish underneath it right now. Let's just see if that fish takes so it again. Supposed to pull it up like I did? We'll let it. This you just let it go. This time we're gonna let it go a little bit so the fish swallows it better if it happens again. And then, uh, then, then when the fish, then when we're ready, all you do is go like this. Okay. <laughs> and that'll set the hook. Let's see how far. You almost caught the fish. It would have been. Oh yeah, there's a good one. You can barely see it because it's yeah, underneath it's there. On the oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you couldn't have complained. You can't complain. Wow. Oh, the view. <laughs> oh.
That's what I like about sunset. Yeah. You don't get them like this every night. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Bye, Mr. Ball. You guys head now? Yeah. But Dad has to work in the morning. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Did slack. you catch anything yet? No. No, nope. you had you the go best luck. look at the bucket over there. They're going to have a lot of fish. Nice. You had the best luck when you were in here. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I caught like, I believe, six or five over in that area. Perfect. And I caught a uh, walleye over here, so that's six and two perches. Nice. All the perches, but I caught one walleye, which is good. That's awesome. See you guys later. Bye. See you, Jason. Yeah, for sure. Hey. How's it going? Randy? All by your lonesome? Yeah. Can I come in yeah, for a yeah, second? Yeah, sure, go ahead, man. That's awesome. I haven't actually been in here yet. I don't think you have, no. <laughs> Not the greatest, but. It is perfect, though. Yeah, I'd like to build like a bunk just so I can sleep, but. Or you just put a throw a cot in there. Yeah, but then it's kind of in the way. I thought maybe if I could push a bunk against and then bring it down. The only thing is, it's, I wish it kind of would go to the ground, but that's the only bad thing on the real cold days you can feel it. Is it? Cause the, Noticeable? Yeah. If it's real cold, I'll put the, the buckets in. It's a long ways down there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's about a foot-ish. So. so you got to pull them all the way up. Yeah, that's the bad and part. And then you drop it underneath? You done that? that? Yeah, that's, once they, they hit air too, is kind of, you really gotta be quick, you know? Yeah. Because once you get the fish out of the water, then they start. Yeah. So you gotta kind of be quick. <laughs> well, that, that's what the sleeves do. Yeah, that's the sleeves kind of help. Yeah. But, that's why I got this longer hook. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I can just grab it. Heck yeah. I just tape them now. I don't like those rubber things anymore. Yeah, I've been. I did this zip tied at this time. So oh, that's I'll good. I'll try that. Yeah. yeah. I want to see it again. No, I got to make sure I got. I mean, it's pretty much prime time hour. Is it? Yeah. I, was I mean, gonna, pretty close to it, I think. I was going to give it a stay here a couple more hours and I'm going to probably head home. Yeah, it's hard to say. I got three or so little perch and then I got a little walleye. Oh, yeah. Then I got a few things, but it, I think they're walleyes, but I kept losing them. Mm -hmm. so. so, well, all right, well, have a good night. Yeah, well, all right, man. I'll have a good one. Yeah, you too. Going to go with the plain hook. Try that out. All right. So, well, good luck. Thanks. See you around. Fish on just after Craig stopped over. Just a little one. First light, that's all I can say. First light was the best light. The last light didn't work so good. Same exact spot. This was the same spot. I fished this morning from about 7.30 till noon and then came back at about 4.30 is about the time I got going out here. Got a few really small fish. Uh, it was not as hot and heavy in the same holes as it was, you know, 12 hours prior. So the evening bite, I, I'm not real sure if it's going to go. I mean, it's happened out here. 10 o'clock at night, I, I'm not going to stay till 10 tonight, so, um, but the ice is thick, it's good, it's good ice, about 20 inches ice out here at Audubon now, so it's pretty solid stuff, uh, I, you know, I had a lot of water on top here, so I don't know where that came from, I guess the, the heat, it's definitely heating up, it's going to be 40 degrees probably again, so that's going to make some for some weird top ice, possibly water on top again. So who knows 
what the situation, what the future holds here for ice fishing again. But uh, the season's been weird already. So anyway, if you haven't already, go to the comment section and comment on a model name for this rod. If Craig Cramber chooses the model name that you decide to name it, this walleye series rod, this this rod yours. You'll get a brand new rod. You don't not this particular rod, but you'll get a brand new rod from Six Pack Custom Tackle. If he chooses the name you comment below, then he's gonna hook you up with one of these rods. So don't forget to comment that. Uh, he would love he would love to have you name this rod. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.